Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, uh, we had a pretty spicy week in Destiny news, right? That swab was kind of, it was kind of girthy, and it shook things up quite a bit. You know, there's been a lot of hot takes out there. But I just wanted to hit you with a, I wanted to propose a thought. It's a uh, stance that I have that that is pretty, I think, divisive. Uh, I mean, I posted it on Twitter, and it, there's a lot of I agree, I disagree, and somewhere in between, a lot of, um, a lot of vehemently disagrees, and, uh, you know, white knighting on the other side, too, of the spectrum. But anyways, here's the stance, okay? The value of a player's feedback is not determined by their skill level, okay? The value of a player's feedback is not determined by their skill level. Now, sure, it, it can be a factor sometimes, but it's not a one-to-one -one ratio. And, you know, a lot of people came back at that, um, at that statement with, well, you're never going to want to take the opinion of somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about. You never want to... A lot of people, they would take it to extreme analogies. Like, you're not going to go to a doctor and take the advice of of the guy that's just fresh to the practice over the advice of the guy who's been doing this for years, who's very studied up and knowledgeable. And um, I would like to remind people that this is a video game. So I think those hyperbolic analogies they they don't really track because one of the things that people fail to consider is that even a bad player who is just giving feedback from their experience and they don't really know much about the game there's still value in that feedback because their experience matters right their experience matters and so they could be wrong about what they think is the problem but you have to assume that Bungie knows, or whatever the developer of whatever the game is, they know their own systems, right? So when, for example, a player says, man, I, I am hating PvP right now, the skill-based matchmaking is punishing me too hard, and I'm just constantly put up against people I can't win against. Um, let's say in that scenario, there's actually no skill-based matchmaking in that playlist. You know, so what does Bungie do? Do they take that feedback and say, this is a bad player that doesn't understand what's going on, throw the feedback into the trash? No, they don't do that. Why? Because their experience still matters and Bungie knows their systems. And so these people whose job it is to think critically about their own game because they designed it and trying to fine tune the experience so that players can enjoy themselves, they can take this feedback and say, this part of it's wrong, this part of it's wrong, but here's the here's the core of it. This player's not enjoying themselves, and they're having a hard time playing against the people we're putting them against. What is actually going on with our systems that's making that challenging for them? And is there consensus among the community? Whether they're right or wrong about the mechanics, is their experience the same? And that's the that's the value in the feedback. So a lot of people would they they like to I see I see this all the time right? A player gives feedback. Maybe it's on Twitter. Maybe it's on the forums, whatever. And um, there's always these people who are like, you're literally a, a, a 0 0.8 KD player. And they'll like screenshot stats. You know, you see that people screenshot stats and they say, your argument is invalid because you are a bad player. Listen, their feedback is not determined. The value of their feedback is not determined by how good they are. Their experience is still their experience, whether it's good or it's bad. So their feedback has value, and it can be worked with. Even if it's 90% based off of false information, there's a kernel of truth in there, and it has value. Okay, one of the things that I think people often forget is that Destiny is not a hyper-competitive shooter. Okay? And the opinions of the elites are probably going to be very, very different than the opinions of the common gamer. Now, this game was made for largely the common gamer. It's a live service game that is, you know, the bulk of it PvE, and it has a PvP, right? And it's, it's relatively sustained PvP. There's some new stuff that comes every now and then, but it's not as sustained as the PvE side of things. This game was not created for a hyper-competitive community. And so... The feedback of the common gamer should arguably carry more weight. It was made for the common gamer, and it is also sustained by the common gamer. It's not the PvP elites that keep Destiny alive. It's not the PvP elites that throw money at the game constantly, getting the new updates and playing through the content and buying the Eververse stuff. Sure, so many of them do that, but they're a small portion of the population in Destiny. This game is sustained 
by the common gamer. And a lot of people use the, the term casuals as an insult. I do not. No. Before I went full time, I was a casual gamer. I was a casual. Was I good at games? Yeah. Did I have enough time to dump hobbyist hours into games? Nope. I sure did not. I was a casual gamer. I gamed casually. Even though I was talented at it, I was a casual gamer. So it's not an insult. You know, a lot of people will use that. They'll sling that term around, casuals, common gamers. Uh, they'll sling that around as, as a way of, of undercutting people and their feedback. So that is the position that I, that I hold. The feedback of a player, the value of that feedback, is not determined by their skill level. You can be a bad player and have some good thoughts and think critically and think like an adult and offer insights that are pretty intuitive. You can be a mega elite gamer and offer insights and feedback that is hot trash. Just I've seen some takes from really, really good players that, that they're just horrible, horrible takes. And they show that they lack understanding about the intricacies of matchmaking systems, sandbox uh, balance, etc. So it can go both ways. Anyways, what do you think? What are your thoughts on the matter? Do you trust developers to be able to listen to feedback and say, we know what's really going on here because we designed these systems and to find the value in all criticism, in all feedback? Or do you just say, no, they just listen to the casuals and that's it. And that's why this game sucks. Or are you like, no, they only listen to the elite of the elite. And that's why this game sucks. I mean, people will fall on completely different sides of that spectrum. Someone's got to be wrong, right? Somebody who believes very firmly that they're correct has to be wrong because it can't be all at once. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for tuning into the video. Look forward to seeing you next time. Be warm and well fed, my friends. Catching the crucible.